Hello, this is Dr. Mears, and today we are going to learn about sectors and segments. First, some vocabulary. Arc is part of the cir circumference of a circle. There are minor arcs and there are major arcs. Note, unless otherwise stated, we assume arc AB refers to a minor arc. Let's just take a look at this picture down here, this first picture. So, this arc right here, this would be the minor arc. So if a problem states find arc AB from A to B, find this arc right here, how long that is, um, then they would want the minor one. They would have to specify that they would want the major one, which is this one here. So that from there to there, this would be the major arc. Okay, so we have the minor one, little one, and then the major one. Okay, a sector. And um, one more thing about this, um, when there also might be referring to the angle here. So there is an angle that is formed and there is this arc. This is the length and this is the angle measure. Okay, a sector is the region enclosed by two radii and an arc. There are minor and major sectors. Note, again, of, unless otherwise stated, we're going to assume that sector OAC refers to the minor sector. So let's take a look at this second picture. So this shaded region, this is the sector. So this is AOC. Um, so if they say sector AOC, they're wanting pertaining to this one in here. There's also this outside part. This is the major sector. So here is the minor one. And then if I shaded everything outside, this would be the major one, this whole thing. Um, but again, we're going to be looking at minor sectors for the most part. A chord is the line segment joining two points. So we have point, let's do D and point E. So this is a chord right here that joins those two points. So any two points that are joined on each side of the circle, then it's that's a chord. And then you have a segment is the region between the chord and the arc. So here's the arc. This would be arc DE. Here's the chord. And if we shaded it in, it makes a segment. Um, so those are the vocabulary words that I'm going to be using and what they represent. Okay, let's look at some formulas. What are we going to be doing with all of this? So there's two formulas that we're going to be looking at. There's going to be the arc length and there's going to be the area of a sector. So the arc length, how long is this piece here? Um, so this is going to be the L is going to be length of the arc, so arc length. R is going to be the radius and theta is going to be the angle the angle measure, um, and that's right here, that angle measure. So theta, okay. Area of a sector, so we're talking about here, so what is the area inside, how much does that cover? So A is area, of course. Um, again, radius, and again, the, the angle. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's use these formulas. Oh, what, what, what types of examples would we have? All right, so first, examples. Here we have our circle. We're going to find A, the arc length, and B, the area of the sector of the circle. So first, again, if they want arc length, they're talking about the minor one. So they're talking about this length right here. And so let's find that. So arc length L equals R times theta. So for part A, we have L equals R is going to be right here. Now don't get confused because that's the radius. This is radius. This right here, that is going to be our theta because we're in pi radians. So we're going to 3 pi over 4 and then times 8. Okay, let's do a little math without the calculator. This is really 8 over 1. So our length is going to equal 3 times 8 or 3 pi times 8 and that's going to give us 24 pi divided by 4 times 1 is 4. So our length is going to be 24 divided by 4, or 6 pi. We're good. And then we're doing area. Let's look. We have centimeters squared. So 6 pi centimeters squared. So this is your exact answer. So if they want an exact answer, 
that's how you're going to leave it. You're going to leave it in pi radians. If they want an estimated answer, whoops, that is not an arrow, then what you would do is you would multiply out 6 times, and I like using the pi button, and we would do 18.8, .8, um, go to that 3 digits, so a significant figure, centimeters squared. So depending upon one, if this is in the non-calculator section, you're going to end up with an answer like that. Or if they say exact answers, you're going to end up with an answer. Um, if they say estimate, um, then the, the calculator is fine. So just be careful. I'm just wanting to review all of that with you. Okay, for part B, we need the area of the sector of a circle. So that's going to be area equals one half radius squared times theta. So area equals one half. I'm going to put that in parentheses. Um, times our radius, which is three pi over four. Um, nope, that's eight mirrors. Sorry for the erasing. I know I was going to try to cut back on erasing. Radius is eight. Okay, squared times three pi over four. Okay, lots to do here. Okay, so I am going to do this out by hand. So first what I'm going to do is the exponent 8 squared is 64. Then I'm just going to multiply from left to right. So 1 half times 64 is going to be 32 times 3 pi over 4. Now you could choose to do this a couple ways. If you see that you can reduce this, that's the way I would go. You could multiply this and then divide. Either way works. I guess I'm just going to multiply across. I come out with 96 pi over 4. And then this can be reduced. You can divide that out and we get 24 pi. It's an area, so this is centimeters squared. Where did I make my mistake, everybody? This is going to be the thing. Where did I make my mistake? Yes, this should not be squared. Here's my erasing again. I'm not going to be making this video over. So we have length, so no square. So don't do that. That's a no. That's funny. Okay. Well, you know, teachers make mistakes too. Okay. So here, since we're doing with an area, yes. So double check that like I had to double check that. And yes, it was a mistake. That's a no. Okay. So our length is 6 pi centimeters. Our area is 24 pi centimeters squared. We could get the estimated answer. I'm not. It would just be multiplying it out. Okay, now that I fixed my little mistake, sorry about that erasing again, um, let's go to number two, finding the shaded area. Um, so this finding the shaded area, what we want is of this sector, of this segment right here. Remember, this is a segment. And we can see if we filled this, shaded this whole thing in, what would we have? You're right, this would be a sector. So this whole thing in here is a sector. Somebody had to go and separate it to a triangle and a segment. Yay! So we have a couple different steps to do here. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to find the entire area inside. That's number one. So we have to find the area of the sector. And um, I'm going to just do one, two, three. So the area of a sector, we're going to go back and use our area equals one half r squared times theta. Area equals one half r r is six squared times two pi over three. Making sure I'm moving down. Um, and we are going to come out with an area of, I'm not going to do it out. I'm just going to get to... I will show you when I multiply the just like I did before, I got to 36 pi over 3, which gave me an area of 12 pi. Okay, and that is approximately equal to 37.7. All right, whoops, sorry, right here. 12 pi, which approximately equal to 37.7. Oh, and you'll notice down here, there's a little reference. Um, I've been using the book, and I want to give them credit for the example, such as numbers one and two. Um, so there's the reference. Okay, shout out to the Oxford University Press. All right, so we found the entire area of this sector. So the second thing that we want to find is we're going to want to find the triangle. So there's three areas. There's of this whole thing, 
and then there's the area of the triangle, and then, then there we can find the area of the shaded piece. So we need the area of the triangle. And it's not a right triangle. We got two pi over three. Remember, a right triangle would be pi over two 90 degrees, and it's not. So we're gonna have to use our area formula for when we don't have a right triangle. So that's one half A, B, sine C. And so we need two sides. We, need, we have six, and this is six, because remember, it's a radius and they're all equal. And we have the angle. So we can put this in, area equals one half six times six times sine C. Nope, sine of, we have C. Hold up everybody, don't write. Um, we have C, that's two pi over three. And I'm just gonna put this whole entire thing into my calculator. I am, I'm, I'm gonna put it in. Um, I am going to, I'm just going to get the decimal. Uh, I would have to go back to review um, when we did sine of 2 pi over 3 uh, to memorize what that would be. Um, but we're just going to go through because this is really about finding the area and not about sine and cosine. All right, so number two for this one, I get 15.6. Okay, lastly, now that I found this whole entire area, and I found the area of the triangle, I could finally find the small area. So number three would be taking the area of the sector. I'm just gonna abbreviate that as area of the sector and subtracting the area of the triangle. So I would take my 37.7 minus my 15.6 and I come out with 22.1. So the area of my shaded, area shaded equals, or you can say segment in there, that's fine, 22.1 centimeters squared. There we go. Um, so here's my two formulas that I used. I substituted them in. I had to subtract because I have to get to this little shaded area. Okay, so this has been arcs, sectors, segments, chords, major, minor, arcs, and all of the formulas. I hope it helped. Good luck.